Yo, what it do guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be looking into Mother's Bounties, but more specifically, the isolation vaults and everything surrounding them. So, let's just get straight into it. Isolation vaults are important bounties to focus on from Mother. They offer good resources and relics, but most importantly, they offer Oricon Matrixes as rewards. And you will be needing these Oricon Matrixes to rank up your Necroloid Syndicate in the back of the room of the Necrolist by talking to Lloyd and Otak. This is where you can learn more about the Requiems, but also learn how to build your Necromechs that you will get as modulars. Once you begin the bounty, head out of the main door to Deimos and go towards the area on the map called Undoldatum. Here, we can find our bait station just outside of the cave. We will now need to collect some bait found scattered around all over Deimos called Fast Residue or Vone Residue for the Stage 1 bounty. These will be marked on your map so it makes it easier and clearer for you to go and gather your bait. Now, depending whether you are solo or in a team, it will depend on how much bait that you do have to go ahead and collect. However, once you've collected all your bait, head back to the bait station and you will now need to defend it as it prepares for a concoction. This shouldn't be a too difficult of a task. When your 90 seconds have passed, you will be told to pick up your concoction of bait from the bait station and head inside the cave nearby. As we go down inside, we approach an infested mouth-like door. Now, These will only open if you throw these concoction baits uh, at them and inside them. You could do so with your middle mouse button if you are playing Warframe on PC, if you are on console, I'm not too sure of the command but it should tell you at the top of the screen. The mouth will open up allowing us to continue to delve deeper into the cave, until we hit another mouth like door. This time we will need to defend and survive for around 3 minutes within this toxin area. Now to put this simply, just do not allow the toxin bar to build up. Stay somewhat within the area and kill marked enemies as they will drop resistances to help decay the toxin levels. This is pretty much all you need to go and do for stage 2. As we successfully survive the toxin area, the infested door will open for us once again. Now from here, we are beginning stage 3 of the bounty as we enter an old Oricon territory. Within this area is a necromech and they are guarding it. They will be on auto kill mode, not being able to distinguish friend from foe. Now you will have to fight them and if you are new to this, they can definitely pose quite a threat. Trying to damage them in the face, body or legs will yield you with no results, however, their weak spots are located on their arms, and when you deal enough damage to an arm, you can actually go ahead and break it off. Once you have done this, you can then go ahead and shoot them in the back, and if the fight goes on long enough, they will recover their arms back. But this is how you go ahead and deal with them. Now there are some great warframes here that will help this fight go so much smoother. I am currently using an Octavia. On the screen here is what I have her modded for. If you use her first ability, Mallet, the Necromech will target it and over time it will kill itself by dealing self damage. You can pair this with her Amp which is her fourth ability for more damage and use her third ability, Metronome, if you need to go, and go invisible for survivability. She is a great Warframe for this and I will add some more Warframes that are good for killing Necromechs in the video description below for you guys to go and pick and choose which ones uh, that suit your playstyle better. Once you have defeated the Necromech, you have technically completed the bounty, however, you will notice there is an optional at the end. This is for extra loot and it's definitely worth doing this, these are called the Isolation Vaults. So, look around for a door that has four vertically empty slots on it, and just before it you will see a reactive crystal. Now if you switch out of your Warframe and go to within your Operator and shoot it with Void Damage, you can go ahead and summon Lloyd and Otek who will begin to head off and charge four different generators. They will need protection, so stick by them and kill all enemies that pose a threat to them. Now if Lloyd and Otak take too much damage and if they need any healing, you can actually shoot them with void damage here from your amp to go ahead and heal them up a little bit more. So skipping forwards a little here because it does take a bit of time, once you have uh, guided Lloyd and Otak throughout all four generators, they will begin to head back to the main vault door and, when reached, a pattern of requiems will appear. You will have three attempts to get this pattern correctly. If you fail, the door will not open. So simply shoot the crystals next to you in order of the pattern on the door from top to bottom. Now you do not have a time limit to do this, so don't worry, take your time, but the pattern on the door will only remain visible for a few seconds before you have to remember it yourself. 
If you are correct and successful, the door will open and you can head inside to break the caches at the back to collect your loot. There is plenty of different materials found all over Deimos in here, so if you prefer combat more so than skilling like fishing and mining uh, in Warframe, then this is a good route for you to go ahead and take to help you farm. There are also several different vaults, and they do seem to rotate every so often, so it won't always be the same vaults that you'll be entering whenever you go and do an isolation vault bounty. Also, there seems to be a secret within most of the vaults. Scattered around the vaults uh, are some hidden reactive crystals, and some of them are above doors, some of them are meshed within infested corridors. But by shooting these crystals, you can also get extra loot from Albrecht Ichati statues, or even open up some doors that cannot be opened up otherwise, as showcasing here on the screen. This is a really interesting system, and I've spent ages within the vaults and with the community trying to help find all of the secrets, but not all vaults seem to have secrets, or at least we just haven't found them yet, or they haven't been revealed to us yet. So these do kind of remind me of the secret doors within Jupiter's missions, so I love the interaction with them. I won't be showcasing all of the secrets here, I'll be leaving that fun for you guys to go out there and explore yourself. And once you are happy and finished with your fault area, you can leave by the exit Esophage, uh, which is a plant that will eat you and teleport you out of the cave for faster exiting. It's nice to see these back in the game again, as they were once in the game when Jordan's Verdict was around. So, now that you've completed your first fault, if you remain in the same session, you can talk to another mo mother located in three different spots here on the screen to access another scaled vault. So it will be harder, the enemies will be tougher. You will get better rewards, and then there'll be more necromechs to fight per vault. So the first vault is tier one, and you get one necromech. The second vault is tier two, and you get two necromechs. And the third vault is tier three, and you have to fight three necromechs. You will have to do all three vaults per worm cycle within Deimos. If the worms Fass and Vome fight each other and kill each other, changing the cycle within Deimos, then the vaults will also reset, meaning that your scaling will reset too. You have about one hour or so to complete all three vaults for scaling rewards. Also on the screen here, you can do any of these vaults in any order that you want to on the map. Uh, it doesn't have to be in a set order. So if you just choose a mother with a vault location in one of these three areas, if you complete it, then you can go to another mother and so forth. There's no set pattern. You don't have to go left, middle, right, or right, middle, left, or middle, left, right, whatever. Just choose which mother you want to. Once you complete that vault within that cave, then go to a different mother. So these will always be the three mothers for your vaults, okay? I tried to keep this guide as short and as sweet as I could to help guide you guys throughout the new vaulted areas. So if you do have any questions, ask below inside the comments section and I will try to get around to them as soon as I can. Otherwise, how are you guys finding the update? Are you guys enjoying Deimos? Was it everything that you guys expected or more? As per usual, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you guys are new, you can subscribe to the channel to join us for future videos. You can always catch me live over at twitch.tv forward slash no sympathy. And until the next video, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.